Hello YouTube, this is Flamette, and I'm on a world that I've been working on for quite some time, and I call it Giant Tree. When I head that way, you will be able to soon see why. And if you look into this forest, there's barely, there's almost no oak trees, it's almost all birch. So, I'm just going to show what I have here have a huge carrot farm and wheat farm I have a witch farm which is very bad right now it spawns quite nice but um, I need a way to kill them to farm them something like that um, I'm heading to my main base which is this way and there's a village on the way there which is a village <laughs> yep a village who would have guessed um there's wheat and it's going night time and I forgot my bed and I'm probably going to die now oh darn it oh well at least we get some fighting and leveling up um soon in the horizon you'll be able to see stuff that looks like hills and then after that mountains yeah right there That's all I have so far of my soon-to-be giant tree. It's 100 meters in diameter, which is very large considering the circumference is probably around 315 blocks. And then it's really high with the roots and everything. So. I am sorry about that, but my brother sort of, oh my, sort of interrupted me, in, interrupted on the video, so I stopped it, oops, and I hope that wasn't, won't be too bad on YouTube, I don't know, because this is my first video, oh, I probably didn't mention that yet, this is my first video. I may have also forgot to mention my name, Flamet, and on Minecraft, one of my favorite things to do is to build. I also like to do adventure maps and occasionally try to do redstone, but my favorite thing to do is build, as you can see. Um, whole reason why I have this, I'm making this, oh darn it, out of arrows, the whole reason why I'm making this is because I want to make a book, and one of the areas in the book, oh, that was a good shot, one of the areas in the book happens to be a giant tree, so, I really felt like making this area so I hope that through time we can progress through this together and see it to be finished I have lots of coal I'm sorry but if I go caving I'm probably going to have to not record because I gather everything everything except for the co uh, except for stone and stuff like that because I take too long cobblestone um, moss stone wheat broken pickaxes I save these up in case if I want to connect um, put them into an anvil or um, 
repair them with a tool that's basically useless. So I can re-enchant it only with levels. So it's on. So I've been doing that ever since my older map, which I might make a short, short. Um, uh, I don't know what they call it. A few videos on it, I guess, and show you what I've done in that world. It is quite a lot, and. Yeah, but this is a tunnel I've dug, and that's a slime farm. A tunnel about a hundred, a few hundred blocks that way, a few hundred blocks that way. This is one of those occasional redstone or technical things in Minecraft I like to do. Um, slime farms, and then I try to make it neat. I need lots of glowstone, fill in those gaps with glowstone think it'll look really nice so the slimes will fall in here and then slowly slowly go upstairs come with the water current over here and come through here and eventually meet up right there where this guy is eventually I'll think of some way for them to um, for the big guys to die and only the little ones to live but at, for at, for the moment it's kind of the other way around. Um, over here, I have, well, just another few hundred blocks that way. It's nothing. And that's pretty much it, I think, for now. I will be working on this world by cutting down hundreds of trees. And every once in a while I'll work on my witch farm. But the thing is, I don't really know what design to um, harvest them. Um, or how to. It's quite difficult because you can't drop them and leave them with one heart. Because they drink regen and health potions. You can't just wait AFK and let them drop on top of you. Because they'll hit you with potions and eventually you die. Um, you can't do anything with lava, you can't really do much with water anymore because they sort of prevented you from mobs when they drop on water now. I'm pretty sure 100% chance they live, unlike they used to, some of the time live and some of the time die, but now they always live. So, that is really annoying. I always carry iron on me in this world because I just mostly use iron so far. Soon I'm going pretty soon I'm pretty much going on diamonds now because I recently just had a fortune 3 pickaxe and I'm so happy about that. I went through I have two silk touches. Silk touch with the diamond axe too. Two unbreaking and, and Two unbreaking and efficiency fours, and two efficiency fours that I've completely used up looking for diamonds. To f uh, took a lot of diamonds just to find a fortune three. These are maps that you could see of my world. I this is one of my favorite ones of my map. This is the second one, and. You could tell my tree is huge. Just huge. And then here's another one. Showing you just the comparison of... Oh, there's another village over here. If... I never mentioned that, so... There's a jungle biome over here. A village. Tree. Village. Swamp biome. With my witch hut. And then over here is another one. Just shows you the size comparison of a village and my tree big difference. And then over here you can barely see the villages at all but you can see the roots of my trees. Seems just the roots of my trees can be bigger than um, the villages. I don't think that's true. They don't, they're not that big. 
like that's at one root that's another root I um, these roots they don't look like much compared to that but after using two inventory full two inventories or um, 27 stats it kind of gets uh, boring and you want to continue with the project so you sort of hurry up but um, my favorite route would have to be this one it's it looks a little weird at times but it just in my opinion it's really cool because you have it coming out here gets thinner comes up here and then when it gets up here you see the textures where it just goes into the ground I think that's really cool and it's one of my larger roots too so if all my roots were like that then this tree would be fine I'm also thinking about adding when I'm done or go up 50 more blocks with this tree I think I will have um, around here uh, more detail and have logs there making it look more rooty and arched I guess yes so this episode was just to show you my world what I have so far next episode we will be able to work on this world together and um if you give me any ideas of how to do better at building stuff then yes that would be nice and how to make a witch farm very successful that would also be nice well have a good um thank you for watching my video please leave a comment if you need if you have any opinions or ideas and if you like the video leave a like um yeah so have a good day and night see you next time goodbye <laughs>